The good member from the 35th, Representative Couture. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, you know, if it wasn't worse enough that we're going to qualify a constitutional right by making you take a test, then we're also going to place you in a database for having a constitutional right that some do not like. And, you know, we hear all the time about rising crime, and of course there's rising homicides and rising gun violence as well. And this state already has, for certain firearms, a waiting period. But yet those waiting periods, which is what this bill would do, have not obviously worked with these with, with this increase in violent gun crime. So what we're purporting to do here with this bill has already been proven by us that it does not work. We already have a waiting period, Madam Speaker. It doesn't work. There's not any evidence that these waiting periods or these cool-off periods work. And as we go around, and especially the rural districts, as you've heard, Madam Speaker, it could take so long for law enforcement, which has been dwindled over recent years, to respond to such calls. I live rurally, and a lot of people in my district are, live rurally as well. Whether it be wild animals, like the good gentleman from the ninth mentioned, or other criminals, because Rural counties like mine have become soft targets for crime from urban counties. We don't just need guns for our rural values and traditions. We need guns to protect ourselves and to protect our families. But now we have to go take a test and wait 10 days to access our constitutional rights and to be thrown into a database by a government that continues to attack our fundamental gun rights. This is fundamentally wrong, and I, we seem to be doing this every single year, and it is the death of a thousand cuts, Madam Speaker. If you could speak to the policy. I urge an emphatic no vote on this policy, Madam Speaker.